fine. I'm Angela Clark with Thread Like Gold Quilting and APQS Raleigh. And I just figured something out that I thought you would want to know. I was teaching a um, virtual quilt path camp online today, and we were using the marking tool a lot and using fabric compensation a lot. Um, and I have figured out an easier way to um, add points on that, and I wanted to share it with you. Now, kind of the downside of this is that if you want to do this, you will be needing to use a Microsoft Doc with your surface. So if you look back here, you're going to see these two things. I just have them uh, zip tied quickly to uh, the top of the long arm right now, just so I could do some testing real quick. Um, I was not using this in the class today. I had a uh, just my normal power supply coming up. But what this Doc does is it changes the communication from a USB cable. You're gonna see I don't have a USB cable um, hooked up onto my surface. Um, it's all communicating through the power. What that lets me do is use other USB communication devices at the same time. Um, so you're gonna see a little dongle plugged in right here. The dongle goes to this little thing. This is a mouse pen, believe it or not. So it's a special kind of mouse. They're not expensive. Um, I got this from Amazon um, and it's pretty slick. So I'm gonna have um, my husband come back around front so he can show you how I'm using this. So I paired it with my system. I just plugged the, um, the dongle into the dock so that it could, um, it would work. Okay, and then I need to, um, it takes a minute. I have to find the mouse on the screen and I'm going to uh, find the add button and I'm going to click on it. And it, your mouse cursor is going to stay there, right? So then my suggestion would be to Velcro this onto your, uh, um, the arm of your long arm, right? The handlebars. But look what happens once I do that. I'm going to hit the left mouse button, which is the add button. And I can move my long arm and click this and it's adding points for me. So all I have to do is whatever button I need it to click, um, I made a mistake and I need it to be on reverse. So I'm going to go down and draw down to the reverse button and I have to do that on a surface. So I'm just doing it on my quilt top guys, right? Click it again and I moved it off accidentally. So we need to keep it on it. <laughs> Click it, and I'm gonna be more careful. It wants to move, so I'm lifting straight up off of it. There's a little bit of um, movement you've gotta do, but now it'll remove, right? Um, it is so much better than trying to hold my hand off the top of my long arm and hit that add button. Um, I can't wait to do a custom quilt and play with this, and I got so excited, I wanted to tell you about it right away. But like I said, this all this is is a Bluetooth, I'm not a Bluetooth, a USB, pencil mouse um, and it works great guys so um, I would not suggest using this if you are not using a dock though because it is communicating with your long arm um, you're going to want the logic that's inside of that dock to be able to handle that communication don't just try to do it with a hub I think you'll have um, all kinds of issues connecting if you do that um, but it's working great with the dock thanks a lot guys I hope I'll come back and I'll share more with you, I'm, I'm sure, soon. Um, but I got so excited about this one, I needed to share it right away.